a milestone for teams at Knock AD's Satellite Production Center in St. Inigo's, Maryland. At a special ceremony, Rear Admiral John Lemon gave the go-ahead to deliver the 100th Aegis radio-controlled system to the fleet. It was a busy morning for Knock AD teams and their industry partners. We have about uh, 50 to 60 cabinets uh, that make up the radio system and they'll start loading those cabinets onto the first truck individually. After that truck's loaded, the second truck will be loaded, the third truck will be loaded. The Aegis system has defended American warships for decades. It's capable of engaging warfare across the air, surface, subsurface, and strike environment. Knock AD engineers test and integrate the equipment before it's sent to the fleet. So while the system is being tested inside the building, we can actually communicate over the air uh, once again to make sure the system is fully capable. The NOC AD Aegis team and its industry partners work diligently to get this system to the fleet on time and under budget. This is the 100th radio communication system that we've delivered to a shipbuilder for the Aegis radio system. So it is a really big deal. It's taken a lot of dedication, a lot of time for folks to get this done and be successful at it. The equipment is headed for Huntington Ingalls Industries in Pascagoula, Mississippi, where it will be installed aboard the USS Jack H. Lucas. Work on the next Aegis system is already underway.